Well, I cleaned it up. It's all good to go, and I have yet to turn it on. So, this is the Abyssal Power Force bagless. And again, in case you didn't see, it'll focus. Model 6579-3, 2008. Now let's see if this, after I cleaned it up, lubricated the motor. Let's see how this goes. Still pretty loud. So, unfortunately, it's it's got a burning smell to it. Uh it is also missing the outer circular filter. But the other filters are just fine. Yeah, it's got a smell to it. Well, let's see if this can't pick pick anything up. We got a small mess of some expired cereal. So, let's see how well this will do. disappointed it smells awful I don't think that's the belt but it smells awful and it performs decently you know for a vacuum in general but for abyssal compared to even the new power force helix model it's kind of disappointing. Now, I probably am not judging this thing fairly because after all this one clearly has some type of shop motor. Even with me cleaning it out, it's still pretty obvious that it's not at max potential. Also, especially considering the fact there's literally a hole in the side of the vacuum that I had to patch up with Gorilla Tape. So, it's, you know, it's passable, but it's definitely not what I would have liked to have seen. But, all things said, it still did a pretty decent job, and, well, that's not good. It looks like even though I left it out for two days, the hose clearly did not dry fully, so now there's water in the in the cyclone, so that could get moldy pretty fast, so I should probably deal with that. But I mean well, this smells good. Because this is 
frosted shredded wheat and uh, some type of cookie cereal that, were, that was expired. So, yeah. Not really much to it, but nevertheless, it is up and running. And... Well, it looks like I didn't seal that properly. Because this... I have the screw in there for the top cyclone. The screw is in there. It's just this seems to not want to stay. So I'm not quite sure what that is all about. But, I mean, once, once the cup is sealed, then it's not really an issue. I don't think that's causing the performance. I think the performance is due to the fact that the belt is stretched out, the, the bearings on the brush roll are kind of shot. The sole plate is actually, if we look, the sole plate is actually bowed in the middle. So this could be pressing the brush off the floor and making it not have proper contact with the carpet. So that could be it. Not sure, but either way, this is, you know, it still has all the attachments, which is nice. So whatever I do with this machine, I'll probably use, I might use it for parts, but in the meantime, it is functional. It smells really bad, but I actually have some scent packets, so we can maybe try one of those. Actually, with the way that the that smell is obviously coming from the motor, so that's not going to do anything. But it works. So, it's functional. For free. I can't complain. But, considering, all things considered, what I would expect from this model, it's not the best. But, you know, it's in good condition, it has all the attachments, and overall it's still, I guess, decent. But that hole in the side of it is probably what's the biggest problem. But once I fix that and run it a few more times with the motor and everything, that should hopefully help it out. So, that's the Bissell PowerForce Bagless 657R79. Dash 3 up and running. Not the best condition. Still needs some work. But it's a start. And, you know, considering I saved this thing from a landfill, that's definitely good. So we'll see how this thing goes. Anyway, guys, this is Intellitech Studio signing out. I hope you all have a good one. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be a demo of the Power Force Helix. So, which I teased in the video of me putting the Helix back together, but I hadn't quite done that yet since these machines got in the way. And I did look at the Dirt Devil. The Dirt Devil looks even more promising because all it needs is a belt. So, the Dirt Devil will definitely be good, and that'll definitely be working once I put a belt on it. Um, and in the meantime, it obviously still works. It just The brush obviously doesn't turn. So, that's the Bissell Power Force Bagless. So, uh, yeah, not really much else to say about it. This is Intellitech Studio signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next one will be the one on the Power Force Helix. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.